Today I'm going to be talking about this super cheap light stand and seeing uh, what it can add to your production. Hello, my name is Simon Cade and this is DSLR Guide. So yes, I recently got this light stand. It's the first light stand I've owned and um, basically what I did is I looked for the absolute cheapest one from Amazon. So this is made by a company called Koenig and it's the KNLS10 version. And um, the thing, the reason why I wanted to do a video about this is because I was basically just impressed at the quality considering the price. Now if you look on the reviews on Amazon you'll see pretty similar to what I'm saying here that it's actually really good despite it being the cheapest thing out there. Um, so yeah basically it's pretty simple you have a little thumb screw here which then allows you to open it out but then you can just go like this and there you go and then you can tighten it down and um, the other thing that really impressed me about this was just how tall it goes. I'll show a little cutaway of how tall it is. Um, but yeah, it's it's got some decent height on it, which is something that you definitely want to have for lights because it's good to have a overhead looking light. Um, so yeah, so I'll just put this back. But yeah, basically I've, I've been really happy with how these, um, how this stand has worked out. So it's not designed for um, really heavy lights. If you're going to be doing some massive lights or doing some kind of big boom operate boom, um, you know, having something boomed off the side of it, then you, it may struggle a little bit. But I use just lightweight LEDs, so actually it works great. And then you can also you can just purchase a couple of um, these five pound anchor weights, and uh, then these basically just go um, on the bottom. I like to have them actually resting across the legs but you could also just kind of slot it over and um, then you know it has a really secure way of mounting lights. So the main purpose of a light stand is to hold a light um, but actually there are many other configurations you can get from something as simple as a light stand. So on the top it has a um, quarter 20 thread which is good for you know you could mount um, any little LED that has a quarter 20 on here um, or like a camera if you wanted to or you can you know all the different kind of accessories they make for mounting cameras like a magic arm or something like that which you could then you know have used to position your light. So I'm just going to take one minute out of this video to talk about the mounting options you get with this light stand. So you can see here I've got a standard light fixture which um, comes with my LED light and this works great for anything with a quarter to 20. But you can also buy, again, very, very cheaply, a um, tilt and swivel head. This allows you to mount things like reflectors on a little clamp like this. You can also mount, you know, um, diffusion or anything that fits on that clamp. This is great because it means you don't have to have someone standing with a reflector. But you can also use the same tilt head to allow a tilt and swivel function to your light um, or any other standard light. So this basically means that you can get the light stand up high and tilt it down gives you a lot more, more control over the position of your lights and you can see there I'm tilting and swiveling the light um, which is a very useful feature so yeah it's nice and lightweight it's tall yet still relatively compact and um, obviously with it being cheap you do get some I don't know I don't, I, the quality of these clamps isn't isn't amazing but actually it's better than a lot of the kind of cheap tripods that I've tried out and I feel like it's going to last qu quite a long time you know like I said it's for it's for lightweight things that's for sure you know this is not a heavy duty light stand but if this is going to be holding a reflector or a small LED then I think it works great um, originally I was going to buy some more light stands but go for some higher quality ones but actually I think I might just stick with these because they're just so they're so cheap but they work pretty great but yeah I would just like to reinforce that you know that it works great for lightweight things and that's basically what you're paying for if you buy a big light stand is you know having that heavy duty operation where you know it's not gonna um, break I suppose is, is what would happen if you put too much weight on this but yeah um, it works really well it does the job and it's super cheap mm -hmm.